What's up, YouTube? Advent Rooster here, and today is Christmas. Kind of. It's the first day of E3, and I'm going to be reading the news and kind of relating it back to you guys. Just a short snippet. i got to make this video really short. going to give you guys my, my thoughts, my opinions. You guys are more than welcome to do the same in the comment box. So let's get started. I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to tackle it and go at it. So first things first, um, I've got to mention this first because it's my favorite game uh, that I'm anticipating this year. It's Dishonored by Bethesda. And they've released a gameplay trailer of it. It's about 3 minutes and 45 seconds long. It looks fantastic. Um, great music, great screens on it. Uh, it just looks like an awesome game. So, uh, really stoked to see that being released in October. I did not know that. So, good stuff there. Uh, what else we got here? Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Now, I do think that the Cybertron series is the best series of Transformers games, but I'm just not... These days it's all about sequels, I've mentioned this many times before, and I'm just not completely excited about it. I'm not, I don't think it's going to be a bad game, I just, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, but that's going to be on PC as well, so that's kind of cool for PC gamers, um, showing us a little bit of love there. Uh, new Medal of Honor Warfighter screenshot emerges, I don't care, Medal of Honor reboot was not that great, that the multiplayer would have been awesome had the servers been efficient enough to run consistently. And uh, if you can't do that, then, you know, you can't play with the big dogs there. Right now, as for me, Ghost Recon Future Soldier is the shooter of the year, bar none, case closed. Uh, first Need for Speed Most Wanted screen, that's false. The first Need for Speed Most Wanted screen happened about uh, it happened about eight years ago, all right? We've already seen that game. I don't care to see a reboot of that, and Criteria is doing it. So we already know that they do burnouts and, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. So it's just going to be, you know, wrecking cars and stuff. I guess if that's your thing, then jump in there. Um, first Dead Space 3 screenshot. Dead Space is a great survival horror game. It doesn't scare me, and I scare pretty easily. Um, I'm a big Silent Hill fan. I could have gone without Dead Space 2. Not that it was a bad game or anything, it's just these sequels, man, they, they keep hitting. Um, I'm ready for some good IPs here. Uh, Tomb Raider. Now this is one reboot that I'm, I'm really excited about. Tomb Raider, the new, uh, what's this, new gameplay trailer revealed. Cool. I'm gonna have to watch that. Um, it's gonna hit March. So finally, Three years later, we get a good release date, but that means, hey, take their time on it. Glad to see they are. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. Metal Gear Rising demo, and that's the, what is it, the Revengeance or something like that? I don't know. Some crazy subtitle. I used to be really stoked about this game, but the more I see it, the less stoked I am. And it's because you take this game and you, you bring the trailer out in 2009, and you give false pretenses that it's going to be released the next year, and it's not, and then it's delayed, you know, three or four times, another studio has to pick it up. The, the excitement just gets lost on each um, delay there. So that's kind of how I feel about Metal Gear Solid Rising or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, one sequel that I could I could definitely play. Uh, that was a surprising game for me. It had some of the best sound that I've ever seen in a video game. It was just very cinematic. Um, anytime you have Patrick Stewart narrating your game, that's a good thing here. Um, and soon I think they've, they've released a screenshot on Gears of War 4. I don't know how they're going to do that. I'm guessing I know it's going to be a prequel of some sort. Um, it it kind of looks like a Civil War thing. I, I'm thinking you might play as Marcus Phoenix's uh, dad, whatever his name is. I'm, I'm not the biggest uh, man. Now, this is actually something I'm excited about. Star Wars 1313. You play as an unnamed bounty hunter and uh, in kind of a underground criminal uh, world in the Star Wars universe. So it's something that's untapped. And let me tell you something, one of my favorite Star Wars games of all time, besides uh, the Jedi Outcast, was actually Shadows of the Empire on the N64, despite its awful control scheme. So, very exciting there. Naughty Bear Paradise, what the hell is that? These things are just popping up across the screen here. Anyway, guys, I have to make this video really short. Um, I'll come back at you guys. They're doing some, uh, what's this, casting call, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, we'll see that in four years from now. But uh, we'll make a part two to this video. Thanks for tuning in. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you have not already done so. And we'll see you soon, guys. Peace out.